All right, so I want to talk about the CrowdStrike situation. It, the situation that broke the entire internet, it, it caused thousands of flights to be canceled, almost 10,000 flights to be delayed. It messed up hospital software, it didn't allow anybody to get into their computer. Corporate America was in shambles, the stock market, everything. I know you've heard about it by now, but I just need to reiterate the blue screens of death were everywhere, and for once, it actually wasn't Microsoft's fault. It was CrowdStrike Falcon's fault. And maybe, just maybe, not a developer's fault. And I'll get to that in a second, but let's talk about how Falcon works and what happened with the null pointer dereference, which is what caused all of this. So basically, CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity vendor. They are the vendor for all of what I just talked about and all of or most of the Fortune 500 companies, which why do you have a single cybersecurity vendor for all of those companies where if there's just one literal, like imagine if this wasn't a, a simple no pointer data reference and it was some sort of gnarly vulnerability, then the entire infrastructure for all these companies, airports, hospitals, could have been compromised, which is way worse than it just going into recovery mode and an endless loop of blue screens of death. But how do we know it's a no pointer dereference? Well, what I'm referencing is this individual called Sean on X.com. He ran kernel mode dump, which you're able to do via win debug. And what that does is allows you to watch what happens when the kernel crashes. And all what you're looking at are registers in the CPU, which are basically just areas of memory that, that have data necessary to execute the CPU in simple terms. And what's happening here, the offending instruction is this right here. What it's doing is it's saying move the data in D word pointer R8 to R9D. And as we can see up here, this is what it's trying to move. So it's pointing to the presumably the like a memory location 9C within a null structure. So the entire the entire structure it's just zeros. Everything is null, but the thing about a null pointer dereference is that it is pointing to something that is null that it thinks it is valid. There's, you know, when it comes to a null pointer, that's different because it knows it's null. But when it's a null pointer dereference, it thinks it's valid, which throws it completely off. So apparently that ends up in a, in a continuous loop of blue screens of death. So the way it works is that when you turn on the PC, it boots the start driver as the operating system is coming up to start, and then it tries to load the CrowdStrike driver with this update file. No pointer dereference happens, and blue screens at recovery. <laughs> However, like I said earlier, it may not be an individual developer's fault. It may be, it may not be. Because here's the thing, you can have all of the CI, all of the staging, all of the testing, etc. But if some bug after those processes nulls the file, all of that doesn't really matter. I've actually had something similar to this happen to me, where we never really resolved it, uh, at least I didn't. But what I did is I wrote valid data. But what ended up happening on the disk, it, it was all zero after the fact. But what appeared to happen is that there were corrupted packets that were accepted as valid. So like if, if this happens after all of the testing and things of that nature, then there's nothing you can really do about it because it won't show up on the testing server. It'll only show up after all of that is already done and then it writes and is accepted as valid, but all of the data is just zero. So it'll be very interesting to see like kind of what comes out of this, if we're gonna actually get that information from CrowdStrike or not, maybe. <laughs> but what makes this even worse is because of the nature of this issue, it cannot be fixed remotely. What has to happen is somebody in person has to manually go in, follow the steps that CrowdStrike laid out and how to fix this, go into safe mode and all of that, and do it again in person. That's a big reason why this was such a gnarly event. It's what Y2K wished it was and maybe what 2038 will be, if not worse. But it was just an absolute crap show. PG, we'll keep it PG, crap show. <laughs> And that's all I really have to say on the matter. If you're new around here, consider subscribing, I guess, if you like software engineering content. But uh, I'm going to get back to my vacation because I did not come here to work. I came here to, to party. <laughs> I came here to chill, man. I came here to chill. All right, y'all have a good one.